What's up, photo freaks? I'm Matt DeConti. Welcome to episode six. Today we're coming to you from a very famous location where they filmed uh, movies and TV shows, most notably uh, the original Star Trek when Captain Kirk fought Gorn. Uh, they've also used this area for, and they animated it and used it for the movie Cars, uh, a couple of scenes from Planet of the Apes and some others great location really cool and it is extremely hot out today so bear with me i'm going to try and talk to you today about lenses and uh yeah so lenses what do we do how do we know what to pick uh what are we going to use well uh some basics of of the lenses that you will be uh, picking out and things you need to know are the measurements so it's in millimeters uh, first thing you need to know is 50 millimeter or 55 is your starting point. That's kind of what you see with uh, one eye closed. Um, that is your street photography lens. So uh, 50 millimeter, 55. That's that's what that is. As the numbers get lower, your shot gets wider. So when you see something that says 10 millimeter or 16 millimeter. That's a really wide angle lens, uh, mostly used for landscape photography. And uh, sometimes you'll use it for uh, real estate uh, photography. A lot of realtors might want to hire you to shoot stuff like that. Um, as the numbers get higher, your shot gets narrower. So when you see a, a lens that's 200 millimeter, I sometimes I'll use a 70 to 200 uh, for weddings. That gives you the ability to shoot things far away. Um, when I use that 200 millimeter, a lot of times it's when they're doing speeches at receptions and I wanna capture the emotion on uh, people's faces and I don't wanna get all the way up into their face. I wanna respect them and not even have them realize I'm around capturing that emotion. So as the numbers get higher, your shot gets narrower. As the numbers get lower, your shot is really wide. Uh, your 50 millimeter is your starting point, which is uh, your street photography type of shot. A 35 millimeter, I would use for in a close close quarters uh, or groups. Um, that's a pretty good lens. Sometimes I like to switch from a 50 millimeter to a 35 for my street photography. Very cool. Uh, and then a couple of types of lenses. So you get a prime lens, which is a, uh, a fixed lens, like 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter only, which means it will only shoot in that millimeter, in that uh, measurement. So there's no adjusting it. That means if your subject moves from that focal point, uh, from that focal plane, it's gonna be blurry. So if this was being shot with a um, a fixed lens or a prime lens and I were to step back then that would mean that would be out of focus and then if I were to step forward it would come back into focus um, also your other lenses are your telephotos so you might have a 16 to 35 uh, you might have an a 70 to 200 um, or even on your kit lenses when you first get your first photography set uh, it gives you the option like a 16 to 50 to have some flexibility so you can zoom in zoom out by hand uh, the quality is not as great as a prime lens uh, but it, it is pretty cool when you're on the move on the go and uh, you don't have time to switch lenses you want to just basically adjust so there's the basics of lenses when you are looking for lenses um, I'm going to go into more detail uh, in future episodes about each individual lens because there are so many really, really good lenses out there and um, I will show you what each one looks like and, and how the pictures come out when you're changing the f-stop and the aperture and uh, yeah, we'll be able to go into more detail. So for now, that's it for today. Thank you for watching Photo Freaks. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. We need subscribers and also hit the like button. So that's it for today and we'll talk to you next time. Photo Freaks out. Peace.